Hey guys, welcome back to the Mygo YouTube channel. Got a really, really exciting and cool development today for you. I've um, been working with the guys at PPFD app for just over a year now. We've just been backward and forward and, and helping each other out. And um, I'm really excited by what they're doing. And um, we've just been sort of feeding off each other with, uh, with getting this as um, accurate and as useful as possible for people. So you can use the phone sensor with this app. Um, and I'm also going to use it with the, um, the Unity BT. This is a lux meter with a Bluetooth connection that will work with the app. Um, they are available on my website, by the way, the, uh, the Unities, if you want to buy them. It won't be shipped for a few weeks, but really appreciate the support if you want to um, pick one up, to pick one up there. Same goes for the PPFD app. A lot of work has gone into it. A lot of people getting good use of it out already. And I really encourage you to help them out by just paying the small subscription fee. Uh, it's around a dollar or a euro per month um, on the basic one. And you can double that to two dollars per month or two euros per month. And you could really help the developer out. The money's gonna go back into upgrading and uh, developing the platform and maybe devices to go with it. I really, really appreciate your support if you can um, if you can upgrade to the Premium Plus, get rid of the ads too, which is nice. Um, so, as I said, got a setup with the, um, I'm set up here now with the BT, the Unity BT um, sensor, or Lux meter. Um, and I'm gonna compare it against the Spot On, which has a reading on the screen here spot on sensor quantum sensor and the apogee sq500 which is connected up to this little meter here sitting under an array pro so that's a three and a half k um, color uh, temperature with red leds and that's what i'm going to select here so first of all just looking into the app beyond the screen there on the side you will see the information so you got lots of helpful guides You've been working on this, as I said, for a long time and um, got lots of uh, help how to set it up, what the displays are. Um, you got color coding for when your results go too high or low, you can convert into DLI from PAR. Um, all sorts of uh, really useful things. Best, I think, for me, uh, best development uh, and most exciting development is the PAR maps which we'll get into later on. So you can generate your own power map for your own grow tent using the app. Super cool fixture, feature to show you the efficiency of your system, the uniformity, um, so how well the light is distributed, and you get this really cool visual guide that goes with it. Incredibly useful uh, and really, really cool feature. Um, there's lots of other things you can the camera sensors, by the way, on Android phones, all of them are different. And therefore, it's not possible to get a highly accurate reading up front um, without, uh, with using your phone sensor, without using uh, calibration. So there's a system in here for calibration. So again, it'll help you through and guide you through using it. Um, basically using a, um, a source that you know and then you can do it with the lux meter or using a power map um, of a light source that you know um, positioning at the right place where you should be getting a particular reading if your reading is off then you can adjust and calibrate for your particular phone to get that reading accurate and then your relative uh, readings should be reasonably accurate too but in this instance i'm going to be mainly showing it with the unity because that's really highly accurate straight out of the box and um, unity is you know certainly with shipping it's in the region of 50 to 60 dollars or euros uh, in total which is um, really good value for money for a highly accurate parameter uh, just to put in perspective uh, spot on is best value quantum sensor uh, highly accurate quantum sensor on the market and that's more like 370 so you're talking about a sixth of the price um, to get something which is within 5% for most spectrum. Uh, Apogee is 500 plus, so 
just to put it in perspective, what good value money for money this system is. Um, so let's get to the readings. So I'm starting off here with uh, the set. I'll just bring it a little bit closer just so you can see the setup. Oh, sorry for the jerkiness. So this is the Unity. It just switched itself off. I just need to connect it up. So I turn it on, hold the on button to get the Bluetooth button on. And then I go to the main menu to sensor and I select the unit T. And then if I go to PPFD, it'll give me my readout. Just take a second for it to, to record it. So now we have a reading. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to do the, uh, the calibration. So it's for uh, or the source type. So pick a source type. LED 2500K plus about 10% red. Um, you can set the highs so that above 700 it'll go red or from DLI perspective it'll go red. And then back to the, um, to the reading. So we're getting 140, you can see here on the Apogee. We're getting 134 on the spot on, which is a little bit off center, but if you see, if I move it to the exact same spot, it's about 104, it's pretty much the same. And then if I put the unity under the same spot, I'm getting 145 as well, as you can see here. So overall, that is highly, highly accurate. Now turn up the light source, get a higher reading. So let's go up around, uh, say, 900. There we are with a 900 reading on the Apogee. Spot on has turned itself off, powered off. That is showing, again, if I tip it just a little bit back into spot, it's pretty much 900, the same spot. So both of them are reading pretty much the same thing. And then our unity, again, if I move that into the similar spot, the sensor was in, that's reading 931. So, as I said, you get really, really accurate readings from this setup when it's, when it's using the um, unity. We are now going to do a power map with it and use the power map feature. So, okay, so first I'm going to mark out the area here, and this is a two by two. I'm going to mark it out into a grid. This is 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. I'm going to separate it and divide it into four squares by four squares, 15 centimeters each. Next thing is to make a grid in my notebook um, with the four by four square array. Like this. And I'm going to take a power measurement first with the spot on for a reference point. So situating the spot on sensor in the center of each square and taking a reading for each square and going around. Okay, so first of all, by the way, this is not at optimal hanging height. I don't have reflective walls and the light is not at full power, uh, just so I can get some sort of contrast on the photograph or on the film. But this is the power chart you can see here, hopefully. And for the wattage, which it's at at the moment, which is 67 watts, from the wall. I am going to add all these up. 
using my calculator. And then I'm going to divide it by the total number of readings, which is 16. So I'll do that now. Okay, so that's 4,570 micromoles total divided by 16. It's an average of 285. And I divide that sorry, two eight five, and I multiply that by the area. So it's point six by point six equals point three six meters squared. So two eight five by point three six equals a hundred and two micromoles in total divided by sixty seven watts is 1.53 micromoles per watt. Now, excuse the terrible writing, not known from my handwriting. Uh, but as I said, this is, normally this should be above about 2.3, 2.35 in terms of efficiency, but it's you know, three times the normal hanging height, no reflective walls, open wall here, lower power, etc. Uh, but that's the system efficiency calculation done. And then you've got uniformity, which is the highest over the lowest. So that's uh, 334 divided by 243 is 1.37. Now, I'm going to compare that to a result on with this meter, the, the unit T. So I'm going to do the same um, exercise with this, but it's using the app. So we'll switch on the app there on the side so you can see what I'm doing. Now just so it's the same height, the height difference of nine centimeters. So I'm going to drop this by nine centimeters so it's at the same height recording, so down to 51. Oops. Put it low. Okay. All right, so now they're at the, um, the equivalent height in terms of from the light to the sensor. Okay, so I've now got it set up for using the Lux meter with the PPFD app. Just going to double check I have the right selection yet. So it's LED 3.5K plus 10%, which is correct for the Pro. That's okay. I'm going to tap the bottom. I'm getting a reading in there, 230 in that square. Okay, I'm going to tap the bottom right hand square. Select the grow area size, 60 by 60 centimeters. You can change it from inches to centimeters. You can go up to 150 by 150, which is 5 by 5. Sample size, which is the 15 centimeter squares. Hanging height 50 centimeters, approximately 67 watts drawn from the watt meter. Next, I'm into square one. I just tap on the square, capture the reading that it's getting, and on it goes. I'll do the rest of the squares.
Okay, so we've got the result, and uh, yeah, it's stunning. So, if you remember, the spot on, the sensor, so the average power measured with that sensor over the glow area was 285. With this setup, it's measured um, 280 uniformity. Uh, again, factor, it's actually done in a different way. It's uh, lowest over highest. Um, and efficiency, 1.53, exactly the same result. 1.5% accuracy, uh, which is outstanding. Great visual result. You can, um, you can capture it, just tip screenshot, and then um, just capture it on your phone. You can send it to your friends, you can store it for future reference. Um, incredible setup, really. Um, you know, it's a huge congratulations to uh, PPFD app for developing this. It's really outstanding, it's unbelievably accurate, um, really simple to use, very valuable. You can, you know, as I said before, you can, you can uh, raise and lower your heights to get the best uniformity and highest efficiency for your system. So you can calibrate your grow light setup yourself with this. Um, this is highly accurate with the Unity. Um, you can do it with the phone sensor, but it needs calibration. You can, as I said, use the instructions in the app for the calibration. It won't be 100% accurate, but I, I'd say you'll get within probably 10% with um, with the phone uh, calibration using the um, instructions provided here and uh, yeah really outstanding I am um, I'm blown away by this uh, congratulations to PPFD app please subscribe give them some money it's only a dollar a month and you can really really help them out and um, they're going to put it into future development and improve this and um, more value for the growing community as I said, if you want to buy this sensor, it's available on our website a few weeks before we can ship it, but um, you can buy it there. And uh, yeah, exciting times, exciting stuff. Um, yeah, I wish I had this <laughs> for my uh, daily stuff. It's not at the level of accuracy for all spectrum that I'm going to use it for my power charts um, for testing, but um, for usability, to maximize the efficiency of your system, maximize your yield, outstanding. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. Take care.